what's up everybody it's the lack of thunder 8353 here and welcome back to pokemon x episode 7 so um in the last episode um we were on route 4 i accidentally skipped ahead and i uh, got caught in a cutscene and yeah I, but don't worry i'll go back and show you the whole route and like i said uh you can catch Ralts here um a person on YouTube uh, said that it was extremely rare. I don't think it's really that rare, but it's a little bit rare. I encountered actually quite a few, and I actually, no, I mean, I actually uh, saw quite a few. And, um, yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, yeah, and I actually caught one, so, uh, and I trained it up, and I caught it at level 8, I trained it to level 11, Froakie is now 14, Fletchling is actually level 16, it's one level from evolving, so, yeah, uh, let's get into this. So, yeah, I'm at the end of Route 4. Hello there, have you, have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flapabet? Yeah, we just saw that back there. Oh, I see. It's registered in your Pokédex. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's handpicked Pokémon trainer. Flabebe is now brace yourself a fairy type Pokémon. Fairy type is a new type. Yeah, we know. Dexio, what the heck kind of name is that? Yeah, I'm surprised he trusted you with the Pokédex. You're not even one of the chosen ones. I always wonder what happened. No! <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is uh, Route 4. I battled some of, uh, actually most of the... Actually, all of the trainers here. Um, yeah, I battled even these roller skaters here. Um, that one stopped for some reason when I beat it. But uh, I caught my Ralts. Uh, I went on YouTube to find out how rare it was. And I actually caught Ralts in the exact same spot the YouTuber did. It was like right here. Wow. If this is Ralts. Okay, good. Because if that was, well, not good, but, yeah, there's my Ralts. It's level 11. Uh, Fletching's also going to evolve soon. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I should record this on my bed anymore, because this is kind of shaky with my camera. Because the bed is going all over the place when I lean on it. And I can't see the bottom screen right now. Uh, yeah, it starts off with, uh... It starts off with uh, Growl and Confusion, and uh, once you get to level 10, it learns Double Team. So, yeah, uh, look on the internet to find out what those moves do, because I don't want to explain it for some reason. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't really need a potion, because this thing's four levels under me. Oh yeah, and for those of you who haven't played the newer Pokemon games and don't know about it yet, drum roll, dum 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 dum. I can't make any sound effects in life. Um, we will get a second starter Pokemon. Now I'm gonna choose uh, Charmander. Uh, last time on my previous playthrough, I chose Squirtle, and um, yeah, and I got a Blastoise, and I really want a uh, Charizard, I, a Mega Charizard, so, yeah. And in this game, the, um, all the kids re research Mega Evolution to find out what it is and what it does and everything, and when it happens. So come along now. No. So yeah, here, uh, I, I believe this is our first, uh, um, place of this. Uh, that's actually kind of cool how they made this place. Oh, I realized my volume wasn't 
as loud as it usually is. Yeah, as these uh, places right here, they got remade in this game. They look really cool. These gates, yeah, they're the gates. That's what they called. Yeah, you get the move return, which is a very weak move. Don't teach it to any of your Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the floor because this is getting too shaky. Yeah. This music's really cool. So yeah, I, it didn't even make the sound effect. It didn't. It didn't even make the do 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 sound effect or whatever. I can't make it. Uh, let's see. I usually have the volume like this loud, <clears throat> so you guys can all hear it. I really love this music. Do 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 do. This is Lumio City. This is actually the biggest uh, city in the game, and it's also shaped like a Pokeball. Um, I will go to the map right here and show you that. Town map, use, and here we go. Look. The town, uh, Lumio City, it's actually shaped like a Pokeball. So, yeah. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. I don't know why I made a Wizard of Oz reference. But, whatever. As you notice, I'm not using the skates right now, because I am amazing. And I don't need them, because they're cheap. They're cheap skates. Cheap skates. This building is the Pokemon Lab. Let's go inside. I also kind of like this music. No, 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 no. Oh, here we're gonna uh, witness a really cool scene right here. Right when we walk in, this is gonna be so cool. Look at this. It's just like. <laughs> this random western music comes on. Sounds like the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker music or something. So cool how like the camera moves, that makes a really cool like kinda animation scene. Twenty seven kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos Dan. I don't know why I made that mess up boys. Oh yeah, and if you guys have noticed that, uh, red dot right there, uh, that's because, uh, well, I'm recording this with my old DS, and that's the light that lets me know I'm recording, so, yeah, oh yeah, and my Fletchling's probably gonna evolve after this battle, so, yeah, we're gonna have to battle all the starter Pokemon in order to get one, so, yeah, and this guy's not even, like he says, just so you know, I'm not that tough, he really isn't that tough. First, he uses Bulbasaur. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna use my newly caught Ralts, unless it's too low level. Okay, I'm good. I'm level 11. Uh, I can do this. Um, uh, I don't. Th I think I don't think I have any more potions left. I only have a super potion. Uh, I don't care if Ralts dies. Leech Seed, really weak attack, but um, it it uh drains the HP and it restores his, I think. Like the move. 
Also, uh, you can find a uh, Badoo and a Skitty on uh, on our Route Four that we were just on. Please don't kill him. Damn you. I'm gonna use. I don't know why I just sent him out. I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, also I learned uh, Water Pulse. So yeah, that's very good water move. Uh, I also have Lick. Uh, yeah, uh, we've already learned that. Oh, it paralyzed him. Yay. I'm not sure if it always paralyzes him. Uh, so yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna check. Ooh, I'm gonna check. If you hold down that. Come on! I was holding it down. Okay. If you hold down the L button. When, oh, I told you that, didn't I? Yeah, I, I usually accidentally tell people over and over again. But hold down the L button, you can see the uh, see its stuff. So yeah. Oh, uh, it may paralyze it, so that doesn't always happen. But it's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna use Water Pulse for the heck of it, because I actually haven't used that move yet. Yeah, as you can see, uh, water doesn't beat grass. Grass beats water because it's just water. It doesn't do anything to grass. It actually powers them up. Uh, okay, I grew to level 15. I'm one level from evolving into frog, Frogadire. Come on, can you just send out Charmander so I can be super effective? <sighs> okay, here he has Squirtle. So... Yeah, that's the starter o I chose before. That doesn't do shit. Water gun doesn't do shit. Whoa, I accidentally moved the screen right there. Oh, that move. Withdraw. Uh, it, it raises his defense. Uh, I'm gonna use Lick now. That might be a bit more effective. I'm not sure, because it's a ghost type. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Lick isn't really an effective move, unless it's super effective. Uh, it's also ineffective by a fairy, which means it says, uh, if you try to use it, it says it doesn't affect the Pokemon. I'm gonna send out Fleshing. Um, Fletchling. Let's see its EXP. See how far it is from involved. Okay, it's halfway there. You finally use a physical move. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use Pat. There we go. Finally. Now we can be super effective when we send out Froakie. Uh, maybe I might not evolve this time. Crap. I wanted to switch out with Froakie, but it's okay. Wow, and here... Wow. Like, two minutes ago, I was just saying, please send out Charmander so I can use Froakie and I can be super effective. And now I'm all like, oh, it's okay. I didn't... I accidentally press keep battling and... It's gonna be okay, and we need to evolve Fletchling. I might actually make this video a bit longer, like 20 minutes or so. Aw, oh, come on, fuck you. Roar! I can growl too, that doesn't do anything but lower my attack. Still gonna kill you. You're a little shit. Come on, what is wrong with you? Jeez, what is your speed? You are a little. Can you please stop avoiding the uh, attack? Thank you. Finally. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to evolve into uh, Flitchinder, so yeah. Our first evolution scene, finally. Froakie's gonna evolve soon, too. What? Fletchling is evolving? I didn't know that. That was sarcasm, guys. I'm not that stupid. Fletchinder, yay! It's finally a bigger bird. Put on some weight. Can't wait till Talon Flame. That evolves at level 35. And do. It's. Ah! Ow! My feet just. Bumped into a chair. Wait, what move do I want to learn? Ember. Okay, yeah, now we're actually. We're officially a fire and flying type. So, yeah, um. We will replace with. Friggin' Growl. Nobody likes that. Put Tinder learn Ember. Yeah, we get to pick our starter. We or second starter, I mean. Charmander, come on out, my friend. Like Yokai Watch, if you, if any of you know the show Yokai Watch, it's like, come on out, my friend. Nobody knows that show, do you? So it's like Pokemon, but for babies. I don't watch it. There's 12 episodes already, maybe even 30. No, I don't want to give my Pokemon a nickname. Yes, Charizard IX, this Pokemon. When we get Charizard and Mega Evolve it, it will look boss. It evolves into this black swag dragon thing. Hi, Professor Thickamore. Yeah, interesting. Ow. I just keep on getting so many. I lay it on my hand with my stomach. And it hurt. I'm just so fidgety right now. This is actually the building that you can get poker radar. Uh, I'm gonna sh okay after this. If you go to the second floor after you beat the game, uh, you can get uh, a poker radar, which I will explain a lot later. I'm gonna show you the scientist who uh, who um, gives you it. Oh, this is the leader of Team Flare. He's actually evil. They think he's nice right now, but he's actually evil. Uh, Team Flare. That's the uh, Team Rocket of this game, technically. Uh, yeah, like the last game was Team Plasma. Now it's Team Team Flare. He just wants to make the world world better, but he ends up making it worse. Yeah, especially after you beat the seventh gym. Oh God, I had to do a lot of Team Flare battling. It gets worse. They try to blow up as they blow up like a city. They actually do blow it up. Cafe Salali. What the hell? Wonder. I wonder what Serena wants. Oh, so he 